Okay, thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna talk about automatically trading in volatile markets in any direction with our option strategies. We have automated option strategies as well as a secret spread strategy. And we're gonna reveal that to you today. So thanks for joining me. And we are not stock pickers, so let's get that right out of the way. I know a lot of people are, and that's fine, but we do not trade individual stocks. I, we think we have a, a better idea and a better market to trade. And we're gonna jump into that here in just a moment. So we're gonna look at how technology and automation and really algos and algorithms can automate our options trading. And remember, we are speculating. And, and speculators accept risk. We're trying to make money, but we have to accept risk. So do take a moment and read the risk disclosure. It is important. I'll give you just a few moments for that. Remember that all funds committed with your trading should be risk capital and past performance is no guarantee of future results. And we're gonna have a new solution. We're gonna talk about algo generated option spreads, pre-selected option strategies uh, with automation, and then also trade alerts that are integrated. They're actually connected with your account. And all you do is touch your screen to accept or reject. None of that nonsense with uh, emails and text messages that you need to try to copy. So you don't wanna end up like this poor guy here, uh, worrying about if he has his order correct, Meanwhile, the robot has done all the hard work and all the heavy lifting, and that's what we wanna talk about. So a little bit about us, three trading secrets, and why you do not wanna fight or swim upstream against algo traders. We'll have a live demonstration here. And then of course, we're gonna talk about our special offer and how you can get started and then some FAQs. A little bit about us, we are AltaVest worldwide, worldwide Trading since 1997. We're a registered introducing brokerage firm. There's a picture of, uh, of us and uh, yours truly here uh, back on the trading floor in the options pit. And uh, some of our colleagues and some of our floor traders down there. So that was a great time. A uh, lot of uh, really activity on the trading floor, but no longer, it does not look like this anymore. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Another picture, uh, all of our visits to New York and Chicago. We're of course regulated. We're located in California. We've uh, traded millions and millions of futures and options contracts. I think that uh, makes us somewhat of an expert in the field. And we're gonna convey some of that expertise to you, some of that experience. We don't want you to try to figure this out by yourself. That's uh, the mad scientist there from the movie Pi. You can see the stock ticker. He's trying to figure out the patterns in the uh, stock trading uh, environment. So we have some solutions for you that built with uh, really decades of experience from industry veterans. And we're gonna show you that and just a little bit about who I am. I'm Eric Gebhardt, I've been doing this since 1991 and I'm a BS in business administration from the University of Southern California, co-founder of AltaVest. There's my textbook from a finance course and we were studying futures and options at the time. Those are all my notes there, I enjoyed that course. And we were studying crude oil and gold. The oil fields were aflame in Kuwait. Crude oil had doubled in value and that was sort of the backdrop from when I was able to cut my teeth and learn about these markets. I was in the securities markets for a while with my series six and 63 with mutual funds and I enjoyed futures and options. Like I said, I, I uh, enjoyed that course and I ended up in that space at a brokerage firm and here, you, here, you are, uh, here we are all these years later and I'm still in the business. So with that said, and the brief introduction out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead here and turn off the webcam and that way you get more screen space there. So three trading secrets. Day trading, it's not easy folks. It's not a secret, but thought I'd point it out. Everyone's a day trader now, according to the Wall Street Journal. And there's tons of articles on this. I'm not gonna go into it, but just here's an interesting piece in the Journal of Financial Markets to really kind of point out how difficult it is. They did an analysis here of uh, traders in Taiwan up to 2006, I think from 1992 to 2006, and less than 1% of the day trading population was able to predictably and reliably earn positive abnormal returns. 
So really a less than 1% success rate in this study. There are others, I'm not gonna go into it, but I think we all know it's very difficult. Um, day trading tales remind us that humans are poor investors and even worse traders. Here's uh, Davy Day Trader, if you've seen him around. Uh, very wealthy guy, very smart guy, and he's been day trading and kind of likes to make a show of it. But uh, here he is, 10% day guaranteed. And of course, it's a bit tongue in cheek. Uh, just like, you know, he, he follows that up with looks like he lost 4 million. So uh, <laughs> kind of entertaining guy to watch. But the whole point is, if you're doing it successfully, more power to you. We all trade stocks, I guess, to some degree. But it's just not that easy. And here's the reason why, and it's kind of obvious and self-evident, but uh, it takes precision. Keep, keep this in mind. If you're going to be day trading stocks, you have to pick the correct market, pick the correct direction, apply the correct strategy. You have to enter at the right time, then you have to exit at the right time, whether it's for managing your risk or reward. So a lot has to go right. And look at this, maybe monkeys can do a better job. Some of these simulated uh, stock picking results, average monkey outperforms the index by an average of 1.7% per year. Little piece there in Forbes. So turns out he might be a better trader than all of us. <laughs> and here's the reason why, our emotions. Anyone remember Get Smart? Maxwell Smart there. So we have hope, fear, greed, anxiety, all these things you know, running through our veins as humans. We become our own worst enemy. We have bad wiring. We have a built-in bias to make poor investment decisions. Uh, really, that means we tend to sell the lows and buy the highs. And I think we've all done that. So I think we're all guilty of that. It says our brain is killing our returns. And I, I, I wouldn't want to argue against that. I like that phrase. And we've all struggled. You have the, the little guy on one shoulder and the person on the other shoulder kind of whispering in your ear as you're trading, get in, get out, add more, uh, take some, you know, take some uh, risk off or whatever it might be, all these contradictory thoughts. So we have biases when making investment decisions. Sometimes our worst financial enemy is ourselves, according to Motley Fool. I won't go into all these by in detail, but we're just kind of uh, scratching the surface here. There's confirmation, there's anchoring, and there's recency bias. And I think this cartoon sums it up. This guy says, my stocks are doing great. What else do I need to know? And he's got those blinders on. And meanwhile, the uh, headlines there in the newspaper show that essentially the world's almost coming to an, <laughs> coming to an end. So here we are, algo trading non-emotional and these algos are dominating the marketplace and remember the uh, machines are always correct uh, and we aren't so and when i say the machines meaning the market the market's always correct and it says here ed sequoia he's a uh, system trading pioneer in market wizards and he says it can be very expensive trying to convince the markets that you are correct i think we could all agree with that so here's what's dominating the marketplace algo trading Machines are causing sharp drops and rallies, like large institutional firms, uh, sovereign wealth funds, uh, you name it, um, you know, even governments and whatnot. They're commanding, uh, using algos and commanding 80% of the U.S. market, according to Seeking Alpha. Bloomberg points out that robot analysts are outwitting humans on their investment picks, according to a study. And I could certainly see that. So here's sort of what that looks like. A little levity here in the presentation, hopefully a little humor. So the revolutionary trading, and that's where we are now. And this is where we were. I think this is kind of fun to look at real quickly. Old video I took uh, visiting the trading floor and the NYMEX, kind of grainy, but look at that activity, just a typical day. So it looked chaotic, but you know what? It was very effective, very efficient, but now that's all gone. That's from a bygone era. This is what we're working with now. Here is your competition. No emotion, they run automatically. They have built-in risk controls. And with that said, let's jump into this real quickly and talk about options. How do insurance companies make money? You know how they make money. You pay the premiums and they make the premiums. Uh, the profit from the premiums, you pay them and they manage risk. So they sell and manage time. They insure themselves by hedging. They're consistent, they're patient. They look at 
probabilities, statistics. They're just looking at math. That's all they're looking at, numbers and math. Just like a casino would, you spin that roulette wheel enough times on the zero and you're gonna lose $5.26 on average per spin. So the casino would love to have you keep playing forever because in the long run, uh, they're gonna have that edge even though they are going to lose at times. So you're gonna get some big winners at times, but uh, they still want you to keep playing because <laughs> they have the edge, the house edge. So high probability option strategies. So what are those? We talk about collecting premiums using a baseball analogy. Those are base hits by going short or selling options and collecting the premium. You need to be consistent and patient. You need to manage that risk. You will have losing trades. Manage reward. You don't want to overstay your welcome. You need the proper tools and technology and guidance. And remember, you're looking for lots of base hits. You're not looking for that grand slam. So short option strategies for premium collection. Remember, they can be non-directional. And if you're scratching your head, I'll explain that. Uh, bullish or bearish, of course. And these are, we're looking at higher probability outcomes with predetermined risk. So everything is covered. We're not doing naked options. And I'll show you that in a second. Credit spreads. Let's talk about this. If you know options, this is going to go quickly. And if you don't, that's very simple. And I'll show you how easy it is. A credit spread is where you collect premium by selling options, predetermined risk and reward. And these are always covered or insured and they might be non-directional positions. So you're thinking, what am I talking about? Here's, a, here's an example. Don't worry about this graph right now, but here's the E-mini S&P 500. You can see as it's trading in this, uh, this range here, there's some credit spreads above the market with calls and put spreads uh, below the market with puts. So you have this large, I call it a margin of error or wiggle room, maybe the highly technical term for that. And that's the type of strategy we're gonna show you more about. But first let's look at the Greeks. We're gonna just look at two. There's uh, second order Greeks and derivatives of derivatives and we're not gonna get into any of that. We don't need to. And if you know this, don't worry, it goes quickly. And once again, if you don't, it's really simple. Let me show you what I'm talking about. One thing is Delta. What is a Delta? What the heck am I talking about? Well, when you're talking about options, the Delta represents the approximate probability of expiring in the money. If you don't know what the Delta is or don't know how to calculate it, that's okay. You don't need to. <laughs> Nobody really does. All these numbers are calculated for you. So don't even worry about that. But if there is a Delta, a 0.25, on an option, that means there's a 25% chance of expiring in the money, but also conversely, a 75% chance of expiring worthless. So that Delta number is always moving as the underlying asset price is moving up and down. And of course, as time ticks down as well. So it's not a static number and it is not the probability of a winning trade. Okay, that's important to make note of. Now time decay, theta, that's the other Greek we're looking at, sensitivity to time. So remember, every option has limited life. It always expires at some point. So when you say, talk about theta decay, you're saying time decay. What does that mean? Well, generally expressed as a negative number equaling one day of time decay. Let's look at an example. A premium and options at 10 points, and let's say theta is negative 0.05. The next day, the premium will drop to 9.95. The next day after that, 9.90, and so on and so forth. So that is called theta decay. And that's kind of what it looks like on a graph as you approach time zero on your calendar, the percent of the premium remaining declines more and more rapidly as you get closer to the expiration date. That's called theta decay. So what market do we wanna talk about? We're gonna jump into this a little bit. We are gonna talk more about this in just a second, but the ES or the E-mini S&P 500, really it's the one market we think you need to be trading. Options on this market because they're liquid, they're efficient and they're cost effective. And we're gonna, we're gonna prove it to you in just a moment. And here's another reason, uh, another slide as to why we love the ES. 
First of all, it's convenient. We might follow the ES or a couple other uh, index, indexes, and you don't have to follow thousands of stocks and mutual funds and ETFs. Also, an index is less volatile than an individual stock. I'm sure you uh, can all appreciate that. An index might move 3% in a day, and that's a, that's a really big move uh, on the S&P. But individual stocks routinely move 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%. And then, of course, we mentioned it, we alluded to it, we do have a secret strategy, and really it's not available with stock options. I'm going to show you why. Remember, too, the ES, this is from the first half of this year, average daily volume, 781,000. I think that's even a lot higher now. I don't have the recent data. So this is the, the market you want to be in. So let's look at an ES uh, spread real quickly, selling and call spread, and I'm going to show you in the demo how to do this automatically. Here's the ES moving up, 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 trading here around 33, let's say 30. You decide to sell a 35-30 call. You receive four and a half points for selling that call, and you simultaneously buy a 35-50 call, and you pay two and a quarter. So the net premium you collect is $112.50 in this example, minus your fees. And you're wondering, well, how do I know which options to choose? Well, we are going to show you how easy that is in just a second. Same thing with selling a put spread. You sell a 29.90 put, that's the red line. You receive three points. And then you buy a 29.70 put there. And you pay one point. And the net there that you collect is uh, two points or $100 in this case. Now remember, we're not trading naked options. And these are all insured. Maximum risk is capped. These are covered option spreads. So we're talking about covered spreads, and here's another big benefit to that, as well as uh, because there's not the risk of being uncovered, you don't have margin calls the way we trade, and I'm going to show you that in the demo. So there's no unlimited risk. There's risk, but it's not unlimited. Let's look at an iron condor. It's a crazy name if you're not familiar with it, and don't worry about it. It's just a combination of the put spread we saw and the call spread, and that's all it is. So that's what it looks like. You sell an out of the money call spread and put spread. You collect premium on both of those and you look for the underlying market to stay range bound between the upper and lower boundary. Now here's a secret strategy. It's secret only because I know uh, no one really has, has heard of it because we, we really came up with this few years, uh, quite a few years back. Dragonfly, so if you've not heard the name Dragonfly, that's because it's our name. It's a six legged, option spread and it's a variation on the condor so what does it look like we're going to look at this in the demo but i'll explain it here don't worry about the puts at the moment let's look at the calls you would sell four a quantity of four of the 3330 calls at the same time buy three further out of the money calls and buy one closer to the money call. So that's the structure of the dragonfly with the puts and the calls. You're always selling four calls and four puts and then buying four calls and four puts in a dragonfly spread. Now notice the 3290 call that you buy, it is 40 points closer to the money compared to the four that you sold. So this one option here, this call and, and this put as well, they are closer to the money compared to the ones that you sold. So that's going to change the dynamics of this uh, position dramatically. And it's going to uh, hold its value much better in terms of theta decay. And also it will gain value more rapidly, the one that you bought, okay? Okay, so here's a bearish strategy. We call it a, um, really it's a, a bear hedge is what we call it. Nothing too uh, fancy other than you are selling an out of the money call spread and you're buying an out of the money put spread with the money you collect. So if the market were to drop uh, quickly enough, then this would gain in value. And this would also uh, work in your favor as the value decreases uh, because you sold it and you want the value to decrease. 
So that's a directional strategy. And here's a bullish directional strategy, a bear hedge uh, we looked at, and here's the bull hedge. And we'll look at this in the demo. I just wanted to run it by you so you're not totally shell-shocked having never heard of it or seen it before. Now, how do you use algos to create option spreads? Well, that's what we're gonna show you. Pre-built option trades, user-friendly for novice or advanced users, automated risk and profit controls. Do this in as little as five minutes a day. Uh, we have trade alerts connected to your account as well and proprietary spreads that you noticed uh, we just recover, uh, covered with the Dragonfly. Up or down conditions, sideways markets, non-directional strategies, and of course the one market to trade, we love the ES, and also the NASDAQ and Russell uh, mini contracts as well. So how would you even know where to begin, where to start, what to sell, what to buy, what's the price, when to buy and sell, how to manage risk and profits, here it is, it's Theta Trader, the pre-built credit and debit spread solution with our proprietary algorithm creating Theta Trades. Same strategies sophisticated traders and professionals are using, bull bear and flat markets. Automation for risk and profit management, something called the RTI or the Risk Thermal Indicator, color-coded. And we're gonna show you that in the demo. So what I can do here is, let me switch over to the other screen. All right, now you're looking at the dashboard here for Theta Trader. And let's explain this real quickly. Along the top here, you see Theta Trades. I'll show you that in a second. Here are open short positions, open bot positions. Here's your account info pulled from your AltaVest account and then any current prices here. So we'll start at the very beginning and you'll see that there are bullish strategies bearish and neutral strategies or non-directional. And you'll notice here the E-mini S&P 500, the E-mini NASDAQ, and the E-mini Russell 2000. Those are the markets that we focus on with Theta Trader. And because we looked at the Condor and the Dragonfly, let's focus on that right now. And let's walk you through a Theta Trade. Here's a Condor. You can see all the Condors available for today. The Theta Trades available, the algo generated all of these strike prices and expirations. And you can see anywhere from 16 to 37 days till expiration. And you can see all of the strike prices are pre-selected. This is your maximum profit potential at expiration and then your targeted annualized return at expiration. I'll note that this number here is you cannot realistic, <coughs> realistically expect to generate a 229% return every year if you place this, uh, this trade. This is just here to compare one condor to another. And you notice the more time a trade has, the less you'll find for a targeted annualized return, which makes sense. So anyway, just wanna point that out. But let's go ahead and look at a trade here. We're gonna drill down. I think you can see the screen, maybe I'll maximize it a little bit there. Okay, first thing I like to do is look at a chart. So this is where we are. This gives us perspective, sort of a higher level macro view. Here's the S&P. We're selling this call spread above and put spread below the market. And what are the strikes? Well, we're gonna show you how that works in just a second, but let's walk you through here. 37 days till expiration. Here's your expiration date, current price. Settlement price on that spread was 2.3. The net premium, your put risk, call risk, commission, available capital, uh, cash required. And let me point out something here. This is your maximum profit potential and your targeted return on cash and then your targeted annualized return. Now these numbers are all net. All these numbers are net of all commission. And we always suggest, in fact, I'll show you that we really don't ever wanna hold trades till expiration. So we always wanna be out of a trade before it expires, whether it's for a gain or a loss. Okay, now here is the question we always seem to get. Here's the cash required for the trade, $906. Here's your maximum profit potential, $94. Why would you put up $900 to make 94? Well, let's look at that. Let's look at the Delta here. The put we're selling has a 9.81% Delta. And remember the converse of that would be there's over a 90% probability that this option would expire worthless. 
And the same thing with the call, 6.63% delta. So you're talking about a 93% probability that this particular call that you're selling expires out of the money. So that's what we're looking at, higher probability outcomes. And you would go down here, it always pre-populates to a sell when you're looking in a um, uh, selling a condor, non-directional strategy, always defaults to a quantity of one. Let's realistically jump that up to maybe five. So now you see the cash required goes up by five times and every number goes up by five X because you're doing a different quantity. The pricing, we'll leave it at 230 and we'll just go ahead and place that order. And you'll see there that that's what it looks like after you would place an order. Now let's explain the dragonfly. And I think the best way to do that is run some simulations and go backwards in time. And there's a trade simulator here, but I've already loaded some to save time. So first of all, I wanna point out that I mentioned earlier that we always get out of a trade before it expires. Now here's the key, we can automate that process. That's one of the big benefits of Theta Trader. You don't have to screen watch. The algorithm can automatically close that trade out for you when it reaches a profit or a loss uh, threshold. And let's show you how that works with the risk thermal indicator or the RTI. And here's the simulator tools. You can use these buttons here to go forward in time or backwards in time. And you'll notice if we use this play button, you see day by day, the trading activity populating the chart. And now notice here, that is each day goes by, you'll see the green RTI, and that means good, do nothing. The trade is working fine. The algo says, do nothing, let theta decay work. The trade is turning slightly profitable due to theta decay. So we'll keep going. Starting to move a little higher, slowly higher, edging closer to your upper boundary here, but still everything is green. The trade is turning more profitable, becoming more mature. And look at this, turns blue. What does blue mean? It means take profits. So Theta Trader says, this is the time to take profits on this trade. You have 36, 37 days left. Get out now, take over 70% of your maximum potential gains and run. This is the time to get out. And you can automate this and I'll show you that. But once it turns blue, this order can be automated and submitted automatically. And Theta Trader does all that work for you. Now, here is why we always suggest following the automation tools in Theta Trader and getting out whenever you get the signal, whether it's a profit or a loss, because sometimes you can overstay your welcome, you can get overconfident. We talked about emotions getting in the way. Look what happens. In this case, it turns yellow now, elevated risk. Now the trade is turning red. It was green and positive. Now it's turning red. In, in other words, uh, losing money. Look at this here. Uh, and now it turns red. Theta Trader said, there's too much risk. You ignored me earlier <laughs> to get out at a profit. Now you have too much risk. Now you took a winning trade and you turned it into a losing trade. So that is what you want to avoid. And let's jump at another simulation. We're gonna look at another iron condor here and we're gonna compare that to a dragonfly. But before I do, I wanna jump back to the dragonfly theta trades. You can see theta trader has predetermined these dragonflies. This one here has 50 days till expiration. Here's what that looks like on a graph. And very similar to the condor, except you'll notice the cash required is greater, 4,600. Profit potential is greater, 373. Targeted return on cash is usually a little bit less compared to a condor. Same with the, the TAR figure. And that's because you are paying money for this call and this put, you have to buy that additional insurance and that costs a little bit of money. So that's why your targeted returns will be a little less. And notice here, everything is a quantity of four. And if you wanted to, and I will point out too, if you, for some reason you ever wanted to change a strike price, you can, 
that kind of defeats the purpose of the algo uh, doing it for you. And it always defaults to a quantity of one. Like I said, maybe you want to do two of these and you see your cash required jump up by double. You go ahead and place that order and there you have it. So that's how you would place the dragonfly. Now let's look at this condor here. Here was earlier this year. And look here, turning yellow, elevated risk, but still do nothing. Theta Trader says, do nothing. Now it's turning orange, elevated risk here. The market's uh, volatility, the VIX is probably spiking. And, and look at that, it turns red, too much risk, get out. Now remember, you can automate this. So this would be a losing trade but you can automate this so that when it turns red, uh, you would close out that trade and you take your lump and move on. So that would be the condor and that was placed on January 2nd was the first day of that trade. Now, what if you did a dragonfly on that same date instead of a condor? at that here, getting yellow, which slightly elevated risk, but still do nothing. And look at that, it turns blue. You have an opportunity to take profit. If you had automated everything, your order would have been uh, submitted. So instead of a loss, if you were trading the condor, instead of taking that loss, had you placed a dragonfly, on that same day instead, you would have had an opportunity to take profits. And why is that? Well, remember you are, it's a totally different trade structure. This call that you bought in this case is 40 points closer to the money compared to the one that you sold and the same with the uh, put. Now the algo will sometimes change this around depending on underlying market conditions and parameters. So it's not always going to be a 40 point difference in that spread. Sometimes it's 50, we've seen 60 and even 30. So it really just depends. Let's look at another one here. These simulations are kind of fun. People always like to do these. Here's one from last year. So far, so good. I wanted to point this out. You had to wait almost the entire time with two days remaining before you had a blue uh, profit taking signal. Okay, and uh, let's look instead if you had a dragonfly. Look at what happened already. It happened so quickly. You've got two opportunities here to take profits with over a month of time left. So compared to the condor we looked at where you had to wait the entire time, you only had to be in this trade for maybe half the time. And you could have had these two opportunities to have the algo take, uh, basically generate that profit taking order for you and go on to your next trade. So here's how to do it. You go under my account. You go to settings uh, right here, and this is what you'll see. This is how to automate everything. You simply activate your risk manager here by checking that box, activate the profit directive, and then save your settings. And that's all you have to do. And then your uh, automation is complete. Now we also have daily research. Here's something called TradeScope. That's proprietary research. And that is uh, looking at basically the stock market indices we look at the um, market outlook and give some projections. Here's our daily trading commentary, what's happening over in Asia, in Europe, and in the US and looking ahead for market calls by, uh, uh, let's just say renowned individuals at times, and there's a trading calendar as well. And then here's a great help file, just to point out where that is under my account, under help, and you'll see here, People always want to know 
what the color coding means and what the criteria are. So that's all explained right here for the RTI and the risk thermal indicator. And then here are all the various uh, strategies outlined. So I just wanted to cover that, make sure we didn't forget that. Now here is what you would do. You can look at your open positions just at a glance on the dashboard. You'll also notice you can do long positions or maybe if we were bearish, you know, for example, here's some strategies that are all pre-populated or bullish. You know, here's a, a bull hedge. We talked about that in the presentation. It all works the same. It's all pre-populated. So here's what this uh, looks like here. You're buying out of the money call spread and selling an out of the money put spread to finance it. And you would just do the same thing, add the whatever quantity, here's your cash required. And then you would just place that order. And then it shows up here. Now, you can also look at your open positions on a separate page. You can see them all in one spot. So this is our just a demo account. You'll see there are nine short positions, two bought or long positions here. It gives you your open profits and losses here. You can see it in, at a glance what the RTI is indicating. And this is how you would look at any open positions. If you want to drill down on any one of them, maybe you look at uh, this last one here. So you just click on that. Scroll down and then you can see, actually no, we can't see because we just placed it. So that's, <laughs> there's no settlement. There's no history on that one yet. Uh, maybe we'll look at this one. Then you'll see what I mean. So here, this is the lifespan of this trade. You can see when it was placed. You can scroll down here and look day by day. You can see the trade is maturing, becoming, uh, moving from negative to positive. It's very common when you sell options to uh, initially have a trade be negative because not enough time has passed. The theta decay hasn't worked its magic yet. So that's pretty typical. And also close positions. And don't make too much in the numbers. This is just a demo account. We don't really put any thought into any of the demo trades as you saw. We just pick one randomly, but see 20 trades here, 17 winners, three losers, 15 short positions, 14 were winners, and five bought positions, and three were winners. And it's probably going to be more common your short positions because they're higher probability outcomes. You're going to have more winners uh, compared to your long positions, typically speaking. But here's where you would look at a summary of all your history, just right here. All right, I think that wraps up the dashboard and I'm gonna show you the very best uh, feature of all, the absolute best feature of all. So let me switch over here. Get back to where I was. All right, does it feel a little bit like that, that you're drinking from the fire hose? I hope not. But here's the best feature of all, we can make it even easier. Trade alerts, one minute trading, and that's no exaggeration. One touch trading, all you do is touch that green accept or red reject. These are live alerts, meaning they're integrated with your account. So if you just touch accept, our technology handles everything else that you, uh, that you need. And then from there, you saw how the RTI can automatically track and manage your position. So here's an example. Let's run through this. I'll play this and then we'll explain it in just a second. Okay, so here we go. You get a text, you receive that text, you'll see a graph, 
an explanation of the trade. Want to point out, tells you what the net premium is, how much cash required. It's already pre-sized. The quantity is already correct for your account. You don't have to do anything. Whoops. I think I just touched that. And then you'll see the um, days till expiration, targeted annualized return. And then you simply touch accept if you like it or reject if you don't. Just like that. Okay, so here's what you're thinking because people say this. I love everything about it, but I don't know. I've never traded futures options before. Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Uh, options work the same, whether they're equity options or futures options. But remember, with futures contracts and in, in the futures market, you have deep liquidity, transparency, the leverage, uh, diversification within an alternative asset class. You can go easily short or long with any of these uh, positions, of course, and they're very cost effective. So I'm going to show you more about that in a minute. But now we're going to show you here is the offer on how you can get involved with us. I think you've discovered something new and valuable, I hope. Here is the Theta Trader membership. Here's what you get with your Theta Trader membership for algo driven options trading. Of course, you have access to our Theta Trader software, which you just saw all the Theta Trades proprietary pre built trades, simple and effective trade selection, simple trade tracking. You see how easy that is. Here's what it looks like on a typical statement. Would anyone know? For 30 years, I've been looking at the same nonsense. And that's part of the reason we built ThetaTrader. Look how much easier that is. You can you know, click on any one of those and drill down. And then the RTI, you have the risk thermal indicator, color coding, automation, automatically exits those trades. Everything's on autopilot. So you just check that risk manager and that profit directive. That's all you need to do. And then the trade simulator, we ran through a few simulations, but uh, people love using it. It's a bit of a game, really. So remember, with Theta Trader, you have Theta Trades, the RTI, the trade simulator, the yearly value of over $3,500. Now, the trade alerts, I think uh, we people absolutely lo love these trade alerts. I can't stress enough how much they love them. Uh, these trades are tailored for you and your account, and they're live, meaning they're integrated with your account. You just touch accept and your order is placed. And then the RTI can manage everything. The software, $4,464 uh, yearly value on that, on the trade alerts. And here's what you also receive, a private coach. This is what really ties it all together and makes it completely unique from any other software. One hour screen sharing sessions with a licensed and experienced trader. You look at, you know, selecting your trades using the RTI, uh, you know, trade alerts, customizing those, advanced strategies, whatever it might be, whatever topic, we can work with you. And we have uh, kind of a pre-formatted uh, curriculum, but also we can customize it as well. So you have those one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. You'll have a co-pilot to work with, someone who's licensed and experienced, and they can discuss and review all your trades at value of at least $7,500. In fact, I'd say that's undervalued, but nonetheless, so Theta Trader, you have the software, the alerts, and the private coach worth over $15,000. And uh, to be a little corny, but wait, there's more. And yes, there's more. Remember, we have proprietary research with our trade scope and our daily commentary is valued over $2,900. Keep in mind, I didn't show you in the dashboard. We have videos, online tutorials on Theta Trader uh, videos, as well as um, how to how to trade options. If you want a review, that's all within the trading platform. So remember the software, the alerts, the private coach, and the research a value of over eighteen thousand five hundred dollars. So here's where we get you the best deal we can. Even at 50% off, $9,252, it would be a really, really great deal, that membership price. And especially if it were the one thing that worked for you, it could save you time and money. Think of all the subscriptions you could cancel. Uh, there's no data fees. There's no 
uh, trade alert services, you need to subscribe to uh, no newsletters, none, none of that stuff. You could lower your stress for aggravation. We think it would be worth it, absolutely. And we know people have paid tens of thousands for option software and alerts. And why do I know? Because, well, I hear about it and I see what's out there. So people are spending a fortune on algo trading, on systematic trading, on options trading, whatever it may be. Uh, options training, I know some uh, entities out there and groups are offering you know, options training for $25,000. Uh, that's great if you wanna get educated, but what we're saying is that's all part of your Theta Trader membership in terms of what you need to know to work with Theta Trader and trade options accordingly. So here's the special offer. It's a live webinar. So our Theta Trader membership will give you everything you need, $1,497. And in fact, we're gonna really do better than that. 60% discount before Friday night. That makes it a one-time payment of 597. So that's a lifetime member for Theta Trader. You see the link there, cf.altavest.com forward slash TT. And there's our phone number. You can give us a ring, 949-236-6961. And I want to point out it's one time. It's a one-time payment. People always uh, say, are you sure that's not every year or that's not every month or whatever? Nope. One-time payment, your lifetime member. And yes, we've been here a long time, 1997. So AltaVest has been around a long time. And here's no excuse for you. <laughs> Make it so easy. There's no excuse. 30-day guarantee. So really, that membership fee uh, shouldn't really uh, get in the way or be any barrier at all because there's a 30-day guarantee. If you decide it's not for you for whatever reason, that's okay. Let us know. We'll just uh, gladly refund your membership fee if it's not a good fit for you. Here's a few FAQs. Can I trade stock options? Uh, no. We specialize in options on the E-mini stock index futures markets. We talked about the E-mini S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Russell 2000. What about lower tax rates? Are they tax efficient? Yes. If you trade with us, you're in a tax efficient space. If you're trading, uh, you know, day trading stocks and stock options, you're not. <laughs> uh, here's an example. If you're doing individual stocks, 100 grand, 20% return, and you're in the highest tax bracket, you're gonna pay $7,400 in tax. That's a 12.6% return. Now, if you're trading with us, you generate that same return, that's a 14.64% return, a tax savings of over $2,000, simply because you're in, we, we think is the uh, advantageous uh, space. IRAs, yes, ask us for details for an IRA. Benefits of self-directed IRAs within alternatives, absolutely. They can diversify a portfolio by adding investments with a low correlation to stocks and bonds. Retirement investors might control volatility and limit downside risk in their por por portfolios. So we talked about the strategies that are neutral uh, or even bullish or bearish. So you have such flexibility, you can apply any strategy you want and it's a uh, very nimble and flexible. You don't have to just be long stocks and bonds. Tax efficient, we talked about. What about itemizing? Nope, you just receive a 1099 with your uh, final result for the year and you use that for your taxes. And remember the S&P E-mini is a huge market. Point, you're gonna be blown away here. <laughs> I know people don't know this. The E-mini S&P 500 alone, just that one contract, it outtrades all ETFs around the world by two and a half times. So what am I talking about? There are 6,673 ETFs globally, average daily uh, volume in dollars, 192 billion with the E-mini S&P 500, 85 billion in ETFs, two and a half times greater, and almost 10 times greater than the SPY. So all the headlines and stuff you hear about all the time, it's always on the SPY, it's always on stocks, always on equities. But you know what? That's not where the activity really is. This is where you want to be, folks, in the, the E-mini space and the futures and futures options space. More five, more advantages for ES options. Deep liquidity, 630,000, average daily volume, 
I think we even saw that was 2019. I don't have the numbers, of course, for 2020. So very liquid market, largest market share, densely packed strikes, and 100 annual expirations ensure the, granul ensure the granularity you need. And what I'm going to say here is if you try to build a dragonfly spread while trading on a, um, a typical stock or even on the SPY or whatever, you can't. You can't. The strike prices you need are just not available. This is where you need to be in this space. You can just track these couple markets, not thousands. Margin use is efficient and there's a clear cost structure. It's not opaque and I'll explain that in a second. There's also superior execution with the ES options, cost savings of four to $15 per contract, according to the CME group and their, uh, they've got a, uh, a white paper research on that. Tighter spreads is what they're talking about. We talked about costs. There are no hidden costs when you're trading with futures options. These are not securities options. They trade at the CME group on the electronic Globex exchange. So all orders are treated equally, large or small. So there's no payment for order flow. And you're thinking, what am I talking about? Well, here are the hidden costs of stock trading. Robinhood makes millions selling out millennial customers to high frequency traders. They make hundreds of millions of dollars in cash income by selling their customer orders to the high frequency trading meat grinder. These high frequency traders are not charities. And the only reason that they would pay Robinhood tens to hundreds of millions of dollars is that they can exploit the retail customers. So that's called payment for order flow, folks. So you're, we're, we're trading stocks, you're trading stocks, and they all say it's free. It's not free. No such thing as a free lunch. Schwab and others confirm their status as casinos. The retail stock brokerages, remember, stock brokerages, not futures brokerages. They are not charities. They make up lost commission revenue in other ways buried down in the guts of their workflow processes where few people notice. So the point is folks, not to ever trade stocks, it's just not free. And remember, nothing of value is truly ever free. So what that begs the question, what are commission rates? We, remember we talked about everything is net of all cost in Theta Trader. Our rates are very competitive, five and a quarter. And we stress this, that's round turn and that's all in. So what does that mean? Well, here, here's a page uh, screenshot from a big box brokerage firm. 225 per side, but then you add up the other side and clearing and exchange fees and it turns out to be more than what we charge. So our rates are competitive. Remember, the performance is different for everyone and trading costs are uh, all, all calculated in the performance. What size account? 50 to 100,000 is what we recommend. And if you want a free membership, you have a $100,000 account with us, we'll gladly refund that to you. Types of trading accounts, we talked about IRA, individual joint corporate LLC trust, absolutely. And why alternatives to sum it up here and we'll uh, get ready to wrap it up. I think just right on time. Alternatives have a low correlation to traditional investments. They may improve diversification and lower portfolio risk, improve potential to improve the risk and return profile of a portfolio. They may help grow an investor's total return. So the whole point is you don't wanna fight the tape. Don't fight the market. Trade what the market offers, trade the environment that it offers. Be flexible, use bullish, bearish, and non-directional strategies. You don't wanna end up like this still thinking that the market was wrong as you take your thoughts to the grave or, or like this cartoon, you want to be long. You don't want to be long delusions, wishful thinking and fear of missing out. And this was kind of funny. It's good to be old. Young people have a very bleak, bleak future ahead of them, according to Jim Rogers. So he's suggesting the stock market uh, environment, investing environment will not be favorable in years ahead. So who knows, but how about a, a, cor a low correlation here with alternatives? That's what we like, and that's the space we're in. We think you gotta have a space uh, piece of that pie. You don't wanna be one or two, you wanna be three. Have some exposure to those alternatives, and that's the space we're in. And we think Theta Trader is the tool for you. So to wrap it up here, there's our membership for you, cf.altavest.com forward slash TT. Theta Trader, you have algo-driven option spread, so they're pre-selected, automated trade, exits and you have those trade alerts that are integrated with your account and you have personal coaching. So we're, we're completely different from any brokerage firm. Uh, you, we're not chat bots. We're real people. We're a boutique 
We'll treat you like a VIP, become part of a winning team. And there you have it. There's our last bit of the presentation. And be sure to give us a ring if you have any comments or questions, 949-236-6961. There's our email, info at altavest.com. 597, that's good through Sunday night. So if you have any comments or questions uh, before uh, Friday, give us a ring. We're here and we'd love to get you on board and become a Theta Trader member. So that's it, folks. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the time and we are done for, for today.